hey, welcome. Today, it is a beautiful morning here in Arkansas, and I am getting ready to go mill uh, some maple logs with a good friend of mine named Luke. Now, Luke is the guy that actually, he didn't introduce me to chainsaw milling. I knew what chainsaw milling was, but Luke was like the first person that I'd ever met that actually had a mill. He was the one that was the first person that ever gave me a hands-on experience. When Luke and I met, we met through a mutual friend. We were, I think, helping a friend put a roof on his house, and me and Luke got to talking, and it, we found out we both like cutting wood, and man, we, we hit it off, and we've been milling uh, ever since together. We've, uh, we have had some adventures getting logs, but these logs that we got, they were some maple logs that were taken down not far from either one of our houses here in the city of Conway, and we snagged these things. They have been sitting actually for over a year on the ground and we will both be running our saws together uh, man he's a great dude the only issue I have with him is he runs a husky and so I mean he hasn't quite moved up to the top tier level saw your uh, position running a uh, kind of second-class Husqvarna but hey you know what I forgive him I don't, I'm just kidding I don't judge him so, yeah thank you for joining today it's gonna be a lot of fun all right we are here and uh, we're getting set up we've got a we got at least four logs. They're not super big to mill up, but we're going to get it done. We've been getting set up, and I'm going to show you what we're going to be milling up today. So, uh, come here. This is um, Luke. He's getting this small one, about eight foot, set up. He's got the Granberg rail system there going on. We also have uh, two small chunks that have some, like, crotch figure that are decent sizes that we're going to mill up. These would be, like, good little chair seats these things have been sitting for a while there's probably going to be some good spalting on them and then uh, i'm about to set up my ladder on another eight foot log right here um, not super big but going to get some good boards out of it we're going to cut them at an inch and a quarter because we we've, we've got a lot of nine quarter and eight quarter out of the maple these are the last little bit a lot of the stuff we've already cut and is dry and i'm actually building a bed out of some of it you'll get more details about that later it's a beautiful day we're getting started early because it's hot. Uh, it's summertime here in Arkansas, and uh, if you don't get going early, it's uh, it's it's rough. So, uh, so yeah, let's get to milling. Get ready, go, boy. All right, first cut is done. Cut really good. Uh, it didn't take long at all, maybe a minute, minute and a half to blaze through that, if that. But uh, let's see what this first cut is on mine. Now Luke is setting up the saw. There was a little bit of twist in his cut, so he is reestablishing. That would be the big thing. If you get a twist, don't like keep going. Like set up your saw and do it right. Um, you want to get your best boards, and so he's going to take a real thin cut off that and go from there. So he's getting set up. Let's look and see what's under this board. Luke got his next cut done. 
Oh. He's cutting his as two inches. Look. Hot. Yeah. Yeah. What you think about that? That's good, man. Yeah. <laughs> A good cutting board wood. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Good little projects. Little rails. Yeah. Luke is setting up his stuff on some of the small like crotch wide sections that will just be great little end tables, coffee tables, chair seats, small parts, all that stuff. He's getting that set up uh, while I get going on mine and uh, we're going to keep filming and rolling. Let's go. All right, I got the uh, one of the small logs done. I got mine done. Luke got his done. I didn't get a lot of footage of him on his because of just uh, I don't have a ton of cameras. But I got mine done. Cut five boards at an inch and a quarter. He got I think three out of that small one, three or four at two inches. We're gonna sort this out too, and I'll probably talk to you a little bit about about how we do our trade process. We just go, we split it half and half for the logs that we get together. And he's a good friend of mine that we negotiate, and I never like feel like we come out on the bad end of the deal on that. And we both uh, go 50-50 on the logs that we pick up together as well as we mill them together as well. And it usually goes by faster. Uh, I got this one done. It's stacked up. I got five uh, good boards out of it. And uh, this afternoon I'll come back to Luke's house when he gets off of work and we'll sort through them all for which ones that we want to pick and take home. So, hey again, thanks for watching uh, and joining along. If you have any comments or questions or feedback, please leave them below. Hey, like, subscribe, all that really helps the channel. Uh, I love getting to do this and love putting out the content. And uh, anyways, until next time, keep sawmill.